Hi kids, I'm in London, Ontario. That's like a two hour drive from where I live. But anyway, I'm standing in the shade of a lovely maple tree, just about to go into this record shop I just found. So let me turn the camera around and I'll show you where I'm at. And here I am at the Village Idiot. Well, kind of a funny name for a record store, but let's see what's inside. Oh. Let's go over here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's, let's see what we can find under details. Okay. Yeah. Oh, all my favorites. Yeah. Ooh, German There's a DVD about Mick Jagger. You would if you could. <laughs> hmm. I suppose I might. <laughs> Looky here. Yo, yo, ma. <laughs> Not today. Sorry. I ask you, do you like Pink Floyd? You might find something here. I scored one at the Village Idiot, but there's one more store to check out, so stay tuned. And so we've arrived at our second destination. It's Speed City Records. See that? Yeah. So, put your masks on. Let's go inside. CDs or two okay. bucks a shot, whatever you find. Okay. Oh yeah, CDs are two dollars a shot here. Whoa. All I have to do is dig and I might find a bargoon. I'm done. Let's go home and see what I got. And now I'm home after a two hour drive. And what did I get, do you ask? Well, the first store had all their CDs for two for ten dollars. But if you remember seeing the selection I had to go through, not a heck of a lot. You know, so, but I did find one thing, and I said, hey, I only found one thing, so he, he said, okay, five bucks, good enough. So, hey, the kinks 
greatest hits from 64 through 71. Yes. Look at that. There we go. Look at that. Sorry for the glare, people. And how do you open this thing? There we go. Yeah, see? I checked. It's really in there. So, yeah. Got the sticker on it, too. So, like, okay. my Actually, it's my very first cake CD. So, for $5, I think I did all right. Now, in the second store, all the CDs were $2. Pargoon time. Except they were all stacked in milk crates and they were pretty tough to go through. Uh, too much work, but I did pull out one thing that was Rush's Permanent Waves. I used to have this album long ago, so I never replaced it until now. Hey, two dollars, and I've got it. There we are. Bargoon time, right? Yeah, two bucks, two bucks. Okay, so got that. And on top of that, when I got home, oh, I got something in the mail. So I know a lot of you people might be going like, what's in there and what's in there? But at least two people out there, that'd be Stephen Schnee and Jeff Kendall, know what's in here because they looked it up for me and helped me find one. So like, kind of like guardian angels, you know, they hear you kind of like, well, I can't find this thing and... They both stepped in to help. So I ordered it. It came in. Look, we're going to snip right across there, too. Zip, zip, zip. And see what's in here. And by the way, whoop, by the way, I don't know why it is all these places are uh, charging such crazy prices for shipping. You know, like, oh, look, $10 plus. 10, 15, 30 dollars shipping. What the heck? Can you see that? It says like 310. 310. Well, why is this? You know, like you can send something in the mail at a reasonable price. Why does it have to be 20, 30 dollars? What are they thinking? Jeez. They'll, they'll be getting some big sales from that, I betcha. So let's see what I got. Oh, it's tape the cardboard. Cool. It's, it's live, folks. It's live. Still have my scissors handy. Okay, get it out of here. All right. Cool. All right. And then it's in a baggie of sorts. How do you get into the baggie? Uh, uh, I don't know. That's good. good baggie here. Edit. I'm in my 80s, and I feel great. Okay. All right. On with the show. Let's see what I got. And to spoil a little bit, some of you may have seen me getting the uh, Hall & Oates double CD best of recently. Well, now I've got the Daryl Hall Three Hearts in the Happy Ending Machine. Stupid title, but it's actually a great CD. And the uh, really the only reason is because the song Dream Time is on there. Does it show up there? Does it see. Do you see Dreamtime? And I was hoping that would be on that uh, Hall & Oates thing, and it wasn't. I thought, well, gee, I still like that song, so I kind of researched a little bit, and, oh, it's on this record, and I thought, well, I like Dreamtime. What does the rest sound like? Oh, excellent. Well, good. Well, I want that then. But it's a little tough to find, but Mr. Schnee and Mr. Kendall kind of helped me out, and they, uh, Help me find at a decent price. So there you go. See? Aha! RCA. Hey, that's kind of neat looking. Mm. All right. So between Daryl Hall and, and Rush and the Kinks, I've got some fun listening to do. So that that's the uh, results of my last... Uh, record finding trip and going to some odd record stores that you have to drive two hours away to find and all that sort of stuff so hey i think that's the end <laughs>